Aloha all, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario vs. Donkey Kong, I'm Paper Mario Guy, and in this episode we are going to tackle World 6 Twilight City, but before we do that, I just wanted to show off two things that I haven't shown off so thus far in this LP. A, if you can hear in the background, um, the music that plays during the select data screen, um, has some throwback to some of the old Mario platformers, which I think is a pretty cool little thing that some people might not, not notice if they don't idle for too long. The other thing is that they um, actually tell you how many high scores out of how many possible high scores that you have. Um, and I think that's a pretty cool, uh, you know, little thing that I just, I, for some reason, never noticed before. But, anywho, we're going to continue. Now, again, I have to apologize for this thing that happens. Um, earlier today, I tried recording, like, <laughs> probably like nine or ten times, and, you know, something just kept on happening every single time, and I had to quit out, and, uh, I wound up playing through this level and getting it, but, you know, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, I just, you know, I'd like to play it, can, like, I'd like to play it, you know, live for you, because, like, the thing is, I, yeah, I practice these levels before I play them, maybe, like, the day or, or a day or two before I actually, like, go through and play with them, so at least when I play through, it's, like, live again, but it's just, like, if I played through, um, you know, a, a particular puzzle or, uh, or a level, um, that I just played, like, you know, three hours ago, two hours ago, you know, it's not, it, it doesn't feel live to me, and that's, that's the thing, that's why I do live commentary, because, you know, frankly, you know, I mean, that's the thing, like, there's, there's always been that whole thing about people, you know, debating whether live or post, you know, I don't really care either way, like, my personal preference as far as watching, but I don't see the point in honestly doing a live, live commentary, you know, if it's not gonna be really, like, a live play, um, and I think practicing, like I said, like a day or two beforehand is fine, but, you know, playing, like, two hours before, that's a little, it kind of, it kind of, no, like, you know, gets rid of the point, like, there's no real point to, you know, do live if, uh, you just did it, but, you know, I'm not gonna rant on that for too much longer. Um, what I wanted to, uh, you know, point out was the fact that the, uh, if you have not noticed already, the main thing, um, that this world introduces is, uh, these electrical currents that, um, you know, have, uh, switches in them. And, um, uh, or, well, what am I saying, switches in them? These electrical currents, right? And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an alright game mechanic, I think. It definitely makes things a bit more difficult. Um... Where would I put it as far as, you know, uh, like a good game me like, I think it's, I think it's a pretty alright game mechanic, I don't think it's the best thing in the world, and it can be quite frustrating, especially, say you're in a second part of a level, and, you know, you're, you know, almost done with it, wow, I matched my old high score, that's awesome, but I mean, um, it's just like you're almost done with the level, and then you, you just, you, you tap, like, you accidentally hit the, uh, an electrical current by, like, a little bit, and then, boom, you're dead, and you have to go all the way back, and you lose your chance of a high score and all that. I don't know. It's an alright, like I said, it's an alright thing, but, you know, it can get a little annoying. Anywho, here's 6-2. This uses, um, trash cans, uh, to, you know, like, maneuver around. Not in the first part, but they do, it does use trash cans, and... Um, that mechanic, you know, it's meh, it's not like, you know, it, it's kind of creative, I guess, um, but it's not like super creative or anything, I wouldn't, you know, go nuts over it, um, but yeah, uh, I don't, I don't really know what else to talk about, I mean, um, the one thing I do like about this, you know, oh, damn it, alright, so we're not getting the high score for this, you'll see it in the next episode, but, I don't feel like restarting, or anything of the sort. Um, I guess I could kind of talk about, like, where I would place this world. See, now, the thing about this world is that I, I, I said, um, you know, in a, in a previous episode earlier this week, that, you know, this is probably one of my favorite worlds, and I don't know if I would put it in my, one of my favorites. It's probably in my top three, but it, it would probably be my third favorite world, honestly, because, you know, I was, I was just going over some of the worlds and everything, and, um, I don't know, it seems as though my opinion on some of these worlds, you know, differentiates 
between like whenever I play. Because you know sometimes in the, I'm in the mood for like Donkey Kong Jungle and that whole theme, and then sometimes I'm in the mood for the forest theme, and then sometimes I'm in the mood for like something like this. Um, it's all basically like you know how I'm feeling as I play. Um, and you know that that's that's how it works for a lot of things. You know I I never really know what ne is necessarily my favorite. Um, but I don't I don't know. I think this is a you know it's a pretty swell level here. Uh, I need to get the blue package. Uh, where's the, okay. Um, but I don't know. It, my my opinion does change, but I, I I wouldn't put this as my first favorite or anything. Although it is it is quite fun. But I mean, uh, here is uh, where the um, trash can is employed, or like the mechanic of the trash can is employed. Or oh my god, not employed. Um, used. I'll just use that. I don't need to use other like, words. Oh okay. Oh cool, 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 cool. That's a shield. I never knew that. I never knew that either. So if you get hit with um, you know, while uh, what is it? Um, you have an enemy in your hand. Apparently it's a shield. So keep that in mind when you're you know you you think you're about to die. So I mean you don't have to scream or anything. Anywho, um. Oh, oh, I got so, oh, oh my god, I, I was just about to say, I got so scared that I was going to die, and I still died anyway, I don't, I don't know how I died, but, alright, well, you know, there, there definitely goes my chance for a high score, because, you know, I realized halfway through, I was just like, wait a second, I, I'm just restarting the level, it's not like, you know, I'm in the second part yet, but, you know, there it goes, there, right out the window, but, again, you will see, you know, the high score, because I'm pretty sure I can get the high score for that level as well. Um, World 6 is, you know, somewhat difficult. I, I don't know if it's, like, that difficult, though. Um, you know, it definitely has some, uh, you know, di uh, challenging puzzles, but I wouldn't say it's, like, radically hard, or, like, like, I don't think there's that big of a uh, step up in difficulty from, you know, World 5 to World 6, honestly. Um... I mean, that's debatable, it depends on how good you are with certain mechanics, um, because, you know, I know that e e e the electric currents can, you know, really screw you over, but, I mean, fuck me, man, oh, I don't like dying like that, I don't know, the electric cur currents can screw you over, but, um, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to drop that subject, because I don't really know where I'm going with it. Anyway, I do want to actually say something um, to you guys. Uh, and it, It's a request from me. Um, okay, so obviously you guys have noticed, and it's, it's been there for you know a decent time now, um, that I have the... We, our channel has a background. Um, generously made by YouTube user Cuckoo on Fire. And the thing about it is, I, you know, he did that on his own accord. Like, you know, we were talking and everything, and uh, he, he basically volunteered to do it for us. And we were like, oh, if you want to, that, that'd be awesome. And, you know, he did, and we really appreciated and everything. But we didn't re necessarily request, um, you know, a, a background from him. Um... And it's come to my attention that there's been a bunch of people, you know, asking, um, uh, you know, if he could create a background for him. And just know, he doesn't do things by request. Um, like I said, he, he did that thing for us, uh, for, like, as a favor. He, like, volunteered for us, uh, and we really appreciate it. But, you know, we, we did not request that, so we, I'm, 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 I'm imploring you not to. The reason why we put his link on the thing is A, because we're grateful, but B, so that he can, you know, get credit for his work. I mean, you know, it's, I mean, if you've ever, like, gone onto, a, like, a Sprite website, um, you, you know, you see stuff like that all the time. It's just, people want credit for their work, and, you know, it's a, it's a fantastic background, so I figured that, you know, he should deserve, you know, the credit where the credit's due. So, um, you know, if you can, you know, refrain from asking him that would be much obliged because you know it, it, it it's i mean 
the thing about, you know, the thing about requesting things is that, like, when you deny, like, you know, some people don't think this, don't feel this, but, I mean, I've been requested to do things in the past that, you know, I necess didn't necessarily want to do, and, you know, it's a really uncomfortable situation having to, like, you know, say no and everything, so, I definitely know where he's coming from, um, no, damn it. Alright, here we go. But yes, that's my request to you guys. If you could, you know, please refrain from asking him. Because, uh, you know, that can get pretty annoying. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm you know, I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, I will see you guys in the next episode where we will finish this level and, you know, progress through World 6. Until next time, I'm Paper Mario Guy of the Kuba Ninja Bros. See you later.